Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. My recent post about the earthquake swarm there that's going on in the Salton Sea of California inspired some comments, some questions on my post. Evidently, I found out back in 2021, scientists discovered that there's probably about $540 billion worth of lithium. Brine from the geothermal fields is already pumped to the surface to generate geothermal power and then recycled back underground. Lithium can be extracted from the brine before it's pumped back underground. Eleven geothermal plants are now operating in the Salton Sea, which Berkeley Lab described as pilot operations. Here we have in, um, images of different locations. We got Cal Energy and uh, yeah, they got two plants there, I guess, or two facilities. We also have another facility over here close to where the earthquakes were occurring. And then, yeah, there's a lot more um, here in the Salton Sea or along the Salton Sea, 11 altogether. Scientists knew that the chemical element was there. They didn't know just how much lithium was beneath the lake, and the true amount is pretty astonishing what they found out. Pressure from automakers would help steer the lithium stakeholders in a more sustainable direction. One company, Stellantis, has uh, put in $100 million investment into what they call Hell's Acres Lithium Project. I guess this is the area. Another company called Controlled Thermal Resources, CTR, is a developer there in Hell's Kitchen Project. The project was launched in 2021 with a relatively modest footprint and was billed as the world's first fully integrated new geothermal lithium facility to commence construction. Another company called Energy Source is also um, developing this geothermal lithium facility there at the Salton Sea and General Motors. It was revealed that there actually could be a staggering 18 million tons of lithium, also referred to as white gold, due to its value and appearance, rather than the previously thought figure of 4 million tons. For content, that would be enough to power more than uh, 382 million batteries for electric vehicles. The true figure was discovered in a study funded by the Department of Energy, DOE, which researched the Salton Sea to uh, just find out how much lithium was underneath that huge body of water. As of two years ago, one metric ton of lithium was worth around $29,000. One of the study's authors, Michael McKibben, a geochemist professor at the University of California, Riverside, said in their findings that this is one of the largest lithium brine deposits in the world. This could make the United States completely self-sufficient in lithium and stop importing it through China. And now they want to bring it in through Ukraine also. So we, we wouldn't need it. There was a lawsuit that was brought up to try and stop the development. Two nonprofit groups, uh, Cormite, Sibi Del Valle and Earthworks argued in their lawsuit that the environmental review of Hell's Kitchen did not fully address the project's effects on the water supply and the air quality and that the company developing it controlled thermal resources didn't consult with local Native American tribes as required by law. On January 9th, the uh, Superior Court ruled that controlled thermal resources had met those requirements and is freeing up to resume all of the construction. Rodney Colwell, CEO of Controlled Thermal Resources, said he was pleased with the decision and expects to start construction in five to six months from that date, and that was back in January. However, the lawsuit set the project back at least a year or more. Uh, and now it's back on track, he says. Coel said uh, the company expects to start generating geothermal energy by the end of 2026 and mining the lithium sometime after that. As you know, California leaders are determined to transition the public to electric vehicles over the next 
uh, 10 years, decade, as part of the state's battle against climate change. To do that, they'll need lots of lithium. That's where the Salton Sea and the Hell's Kitchen comes in. Energy companies are already producing geothermal energy at the sites, extracting hot, high-pressurized brine to generate electricity. That brine is rich in minerals, including more than 3,400 kilotons of lithium. So they got the go-ahead to start this new process. Supposedly, it's a, a fairly new type of technology to remove it from the brine and then uh, pump what's left over back into the ground. I wonder if that's why they're having all these earthquakes. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for joining me. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.